Good afternoon, YouTubers. It is Palm Sunday, March 24th, 2013, 2.52 p.m. Woohoo, we're in a heat wave for the past week. We've been under 32 degrees, and we are at 34 heat wave. All right, day by day by grace today. Still more on the resurrection and sanctification. It comes from Philippians chapter 3, verse 10 through 11. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, being conformed to his death, if by any means I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. Philippians chapter 3, verse 10 and 11. As we are getting to know our God of resurrection, by learning about, then partaking of his resurrection power, Christ's sufferings and conformity to his death, our lives, excuse me, our lives are being changed. We are attaining to the resurrection from the dead. Huh? Yeah, that's what it is. This phrase brings to mind the final resurrection of the redeemed in the last day. When you give a feast, invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed, because they cannot repay you, for you shall be repaid at the resurrection of the just. Luke 14, verse 13 and 14. Yet the final resurrection cannot be in view in our mediation verses. The overall teaching of the scriptures would lead to this conclusion. One's place in the final resurrection is determined by one's relationship to God. The issue is settled through exercising, sa exercising saving faith in Jesus Christ. Those who trust in Jesus as Lord and Savior have a part in the last resurrection unto eternal life. <coughs> Furthermore, the immediate context of Paul's statement indicates that attaining to the resurrection from the dead was something he was reaching out for now, hoping to grow into it increasingly during this life. Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that which, that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Philippians chapter 3 verse 12. Paul confesses that he had not fully gained the type of resurrection about which he is writing. Yet the final resurrection was already his expectation through justifying faith in Jesus. So, Paul was pressing on for something else. Earlier, the Apostle had revealed what he was seeking after. I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ. Philippians chapter 3 verse 8 verse 10. This is why Paul wrote that I may know him. This was the one passion of his life. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do. Philippians chapter 3 verse 13. The one thing that Paul was aiming at was a growing acquaintanceship with his resurrection Lord, resurrected Lord. He desired to know his risen Lord as well that he might attain to the resurrection from the dead. He wanted his developing relationship with the risen Christ to produce a resurrected lifestyle in him. He wanted to face each situation of life with a heavenly 
resurrected perspective and attitude, a way of life completely different from the dead and dying world all around him. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, my resurrected Lord, I praise you for providing for me a place in the final resurrection. Now I pray, help me to get to know you better, that I might live a res resurrected life day by day. In your mighty name, amen. All right, my brothers and sisters. Aren't you, aren't you uh, amazed at the grace that we are given with the resurrection and the sanctification? Think about it. If it wasn't for Jesus' gift of his resurrection, you know, his gift of death, there would be no resurrection, there would be no sanctification, there would be no justification. We would all be going to hell for our sins. We would live by the law. I'm glad that I don't live by the law because I would be going to hell. All right, my brothers and sisters, peace be in you. God's perfect will. God's perfect will. Keep us in your prayers, please. We could use it. Our family's phones are a little, a little uh, difficult to right now. Just a little stepping stone. Just keep us in your prayers, please. God's perfect will for you guys, for my brothers and sisters. I love you guys. Peace be in you. God bless.